Welcome to On Air with Cash. Our guest today is a singer, songwriter, inspirational speaker, and entrepreneur. Her new single, Oh Baby, is available for pre-save now and will be released Friday, August 27th. Please welcome Alex Freeman. Hi. Alex, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm great. It is so good to have you on the show today. I've seen the video for Paper Masks. I love the style. I love your tunes. It was a really interesting concept, too. Thank you so much. It was so fun to film and be able to have like such like high fashion and like have the topic be around Lost Boys. And it was just so exciting to film. <laughs> I totally got the Lost Boys thing. And because at the beginning, I saw the end and then it was like, oh, okay. And those things I had to watch again. And then I'm like, okay, I'm getting the little hints. And it's 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 right there in front of you, but you have to be ready for it. Right. It is. <laughs> And that's amazing because actually rollerblading has been one of my hobbies uh, this summer. I've been uh, going to the beach at least once a week. So that it took place in a roller rink. That was that was another part of my childhood too, playing roller hockey. That's great. I couldn't roller skate at all before the video was shot. So me and my dancers had to go practice roller skating once or twice before we actually shot the music video. We kept falling during the shooting. And we, there was one time where we were all really scared. Like we all, like one of my dancers fell, we all had to catch her, but we were all rolling towards the camera and we were freaking out. Like, oh my God, we're gonna hit the camera. And we ended up being fine. But it was quite, um, it was hectic trying to be on roller skates and do the dancing and try not to all fall on our butts out all at the same time. <laughs> I've been there. It hasn't happened for me in a while. But yeah, when I was a kid just starting, I, I can totally remember those days so I can relate. Yeah. <laughs> You've been on a roll. I mean, I read somewhere that in 2020, you, you wrote about what, north of 44 songs during the quarantine? Yeah, I wrote, um, so during like 2020, I wrote about 40. And then to March of uh, 2021, I had a group of like 15 songs that I wrote. We ended up keeping six of them, but um, overall it's been like 55 plus that are finished. And then so many more that are nowhere near being finished and probably will never ever be released. But those 55 have a good potential of being narrowed down to some more that will be released eventually. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. And you have Oh Baby is coming out Friday. I have that on pre-save already. I've been following you on Instagram. So I'm getting a sense of the beats and the vibe, but yeah, please, is there anything you can share with us before it's released? Yeah, uh, I'm just so excited for this video that is gonna come out with it mainly because we are shooting the video very, very soon. We're doing dancer auditions and everything to get this video ready for Oh Baby. And the base like around the video is gonna be like a Greek mythology kind of Medusa theme with like back and forth because the song is a very basic pop song. It's about the feeling of really liking somebody and like you're like a little, got a little bit of like butterflies but it's like mixed with excitement. And it's like taking that and putting like how basic that is and like completely doing the opposite with the music video to have two totally different con like contrasting um, things happening. So there'll be a couple scenes where it's like that basic popness comes into the music video. And then we have like the Greek mythology side that's like kind of bizarre. So we are just filming all of that. We actually are filming some of the first scenes like within the next couple of days here. So I'm super, super excited. And then we're releasing it as soon as we possibly can after we film it. I'm intrigued. I mean, I love this. That's another thing too, because I mean, uh, musically, I, I love your your tune, your beat, your voice. But then when I see, uh, your, like, especially with paper masks and uh, the preview show that you've been, you know, dropping hints on on Instagram, it's just you really visually. I mean, I totally got the Medusa vibe, and I just like it's it's very interesting to watch your your artistic style. I really appreciate that. Thank you. I gotta say, I really um, admire and respect your activism work as well, too, because you've accomplished so much at a young age, but you you do speak to you know, people coming up in the entertainment industry. You do motivational speaking at school, and you've been very active with uh, suicide prevention. Yes, I have, for sure. And it's, it's really interesting to be able to be involved with all of those causes. Like, for example, with motivational speaking and speaking in schools and helping kids in the music industry and, like, overall, just teaching kids about anti-bullying and also on a broader spectrum talking about suicide prevention. That is such a heavy topic for people to talk about and being able to bring it in the most positive, helpful way I possibly can, can sometimes be a challenge, but taking this, that situation and trying to add some light on it and show that like, there's many, many, like there's so many people that is affected by one person 
when there's issues with suicide and there's so much that happens to be in, like, I have lost people that are very close to me to suicide and being able to be involved with that cause is so important to me because I know that I lost someone that was super close to me, but so has so many other people just from that one person. So the effect that that has on the community and on the family and in friends is so heavy. So being able to take that and have a song about it and being able to talk about it and be there for people who need it so that I can be an advocate to help people with that. It's so important to me. That's, oh my goodness, that was a very, uh, very beautifully put. And it does hit home uh, for me on a personal level. I recently, I lost someone very close to me about a year ago and I, I totally understand. I mean, I know what he had gone through. He was very open with a lot of things to me. And it was just, it was very, um, it, it was a tragedy. And so I really commend you for your work and speaking to people and being active in preventing. Thank you. I'm, I'm so sorry for your loss. <laughs> I It's an amazing cause to be involved in. And I really enjoy being able to help people as much as I can with that cause. I appreciate that too, because it's just we. Um, I do like that people are more open now. I do feel like there is more of a discussion towards anti-bullying, and people are just even as yourself. There's so many youth ambassadors who are out there drawing awareness to these issues, and I, I mean, because I feel like there was just such a, a negative stigma, even you know, 20 years ago, talking about mental illness or trying to get help. And I just I do like that, especially in in entertainment. I do see a lot of young professionals and people coming up, they're really adamant about addressing these issues. They're very active as yourself with uh, motivational speaking. So it's, um, it's really important. I do like that people are taking this, uh, this issue seriously. Absolutely. It's so important too. And the fact that there's so many athletes and actors and musicians and everybody, like so many different industries are finally talking about it is so important because there's so many people who actually need to talk about it because it gets so much easier once people talk about everything going on mentally or anything that there's issues everything gets easier when you talk about it but like when people don't it gets like shrunken down and it causes issues for people more than when they just talk about it and are open about it so that people can help absolutely and even with uh, myself with my uh, the person who i lost i mean we both you know we both grew up in la we were exposed to a lot at a young age and it was like for me i needed to go to therapy for a, and i've been very open about that too i said you know if there just wasn't something clicking there was just something in there that i had to just really address and i did seven years it was really it just really let me address just be in tune with so many things that were that i just never knew how to really address it was just oh wow you know it's, it's amazing how like you said this one person or even just this incident at this point in my life took me down this road but i was glad that I picked myself back up. I've been very open about that too, because I do think it's more prevalent now. And even with social media, everyone's, even I've talked to other people where it's like, you know, we always feel like we're comparing ourselves to other people and it's just in this other reality. But then it's like, no, we're like, we're all people, we're there for each other. So it's, um, I really appreciate you addressing and uh, standing by your, um, your causes. Thank you. And um, oh my gosh, you know, your career has just been on such a roll already. Is there anything else that you want to throw out there for your fans as well? Um, well, with everything coming out, I actually just did an interview yesterday, which was my um, debut in New Zealand. And I didn't know that, we, well, we sent a couple of unreleased songs and um, I'm actually on a radio chart right now. Two songs of mine are on the radio and charting for request in New Zealand. And I was like, oh my God, there was 5 million people listening to the interview when I was on the radio. And I was like, oh, <laughs> oh my goodness that is so exciting thank you <laughs> i was like oh my god like i was like i didn't know how many people were on until after the interview and they're like well um there's five million point five point five million people listening right now i was like ah <laughs> Oh my goodness. I mean, you've been on a roll too. I mean, you've been interviewed and highlighted by all major media outlets, including CBS, ABC, NBC, iHeartRadio, Galaxy Communications. Your songs are on all the big platforms, iTunes, Spotify, Pandora. You performed live at the Leon Festival, the Orlando Expo, and the Women's Right to Rock Festival? Yes, I have. Your, your career is only going to get higher. I am so proud of you. My goodness. Um, please, everybody, I need you to follow Alex Freeman. If you haven't already, I need you to pre-save her new song, Oh Baby, which is going to be a hit. I know it. 
And please go on to Spotify, YouTube, iTunes, get her new song that came out about two months ago, Paper Mask. And there's a brilliant music video. It's Lost Boys inspired. So it'll be right up your alley. Alex, thank you so much for your time today. I'm so proud of you. I really appreciate you. You're so talented. You're on a roll. You give so much back to the community. You're there for your fans. You're, you're set a very good example. You address serious issues. And I just really can't wait to see where your career goes from here. And it's only going to get higher. Perfect. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate taking you taking the time to talk with me. And I'm so excited for this to be released and be able to be like, oh my God, I did this interview. Like, check it out. So thank you so much for having me. I really, really appreciate it. We hope to see you again when you're going to promote your next big hit. Definitely. I'll be back. <laughs> You'll be back. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for rocking out with me and Alex Freeman today. You are on air with Cash.